Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for 10% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we're going to be hopping into the new house rules event. I'm going to give you guys some tips and hopefully we can come away with a couple of W's or maybe just one just depends on how long this game actually takes. Sometimes they're pretty quick and sometimes they might actually go the entire game. But as you guys can see this is the offense I'll be taking in and of course my defense as well. Uh, my personal opinion when it comes to this game mode, you really want to try and take advantage of your passers. So if you happen to have any sort of speedy edge rushers, I think those are going to be really, really key in this game. Mode. Because if you guys don't know, all you need to do is get 12 total wins. You don't have to keep in a row. Just 12 total wins over the next 48 hours. You get an NAT top tier piece of the theme diamond set so basically like the broncos if you do that you can pick any single team you guys want so if you choose the broncos pack you're gonna get von miller if you choose the bears you get eddie jackson not a good one to go with basically any the highest overall player in any theme diamond set that is the player you will get if you choose that team after your 12 done wins so let's go ahead hop into this i'll give you guys some tips show you some advice on what i've been doing to get my wins so a big thing of course with this event guys is it's first and 20 which means Blitz. Blitz as much as possibly can because, of course, if you get your opponent to third down, that's essentially fourth down. Now, honestly, I think the best thing to do is going to be overload blitzing. So, basically, just blitzing more people than your opponent's going to be blocking. So, if they're blitzing, if they're blocking five, you blitz six. If they're blocking six, you blitz seven. And, honestly, don't even worry about the flats because... They, they have three plays to go 20 yards. Do you think hitting the flats is going to get them 20 yards in three plays? Probably not, although sometimes stuff like that can happen where they get wide open over the middle, depending on what the routes are. So you can run man blitzes or you can run zone deep zone blitzes. You guys can see here I am running a cornerback blitz, but I have two purples on the field, have one over the mid, and then I have some deep routes. But I'm not worried about the flats because if he wants to, I will literally let him throw drags all game long. It doesn't matter. Now, of course, running the ball is questionable. It really depends on your opponent's defense. I personally feel like you should probably pass the ball a lot in this game mode. Obviously, running the ball is going to be kind of hard to pick up 20 yards every time. As we get, cause a completion there, it's going to be pretty hard to get 20 yards every time. Now, of course, this is where things get interesting, especially on third and 20. So I'm actually going to send quite a blitz here. Let's see if we can get to the QB. And Gilmore actually was right there. You guys saw Gilmore literally was there. Luckily, he didn't get the first. Now, like I said, you might not be able to run the ball and pick up a first down every single time, but I still love to run the ball with Marcus Allen. He's just such a beast. So we are going to run the ball here with Marcus Allen to start off. And Marcus Allen is actually going to pick up a big gain and hit a nice little stiff arm there. Now, when it comes to passing the ball, you obviously don't want to just try and hit the drags every single time. You want to pick up decent chunks of gains every time. If you have any deep plays you'd like to run, or of course, you guys can check out HotRoute.Tips, because they do have an offensive ebook over there and two defensive ebooks. So if you guys want to learn some more blitzes, link is in the description, of course, to Hot Route as we have B open here. I really hate that inaccurate quick throw. So we got the inaccurate quick throw there. Second and 20, though. Let's see if we can maybe find Zachers open down the seam. I don't think he's going to be open. We do have OBJ laying out to make that catch. And since we are in field goal range, I'm going to take my three. And also, I kind of like this game mode a little bit better than last week. So you guys can comment down below and let me know what you think. But personally, I think you can get these 12 wins a lot quicker than you get the 50. In this game mode, it seems like if you go by two TDs, more than likely your opponent's just going to end up quitting out. As again, I'm going to leave the flats open for him. I knew he would go there. The majority of games that I have played have basically ended in the second quarter. So my opponent actually is going to go for it here on third and five. I'm going to put up a QB spot because I feel like he might try and scramble here with Baker. And he quick fires it out to Golden Tate who gets open. Good play. Another thing that can get kind of tricky, of course, is once you get down to the goal line, it is going to be first and goal from the 20-yard line. So it's pretty hard to score once you actually get down here. I feel like he's about to try to throw to Kittle. I just have a feeling he's going to try and like quick fire a little seam route to Kittle. And I'm about to pick six this bad boy if that's exactly where he's going to be going to. As it looks like he's mo making a change there. I'm going to watch out for that. Watch over the middle. Send my blitzer at him. And he's going to have to throw it away. And I just got caught in a cover two. This is not going to be good as he actually has to check it down. So maybe it wasn't a bad call. And on third and goal, my opponent smartly is going to end up taking his three and making this a tie game. But now we have the ball with two minutes left. Now I'm going to try and take a deep shot here. Let's see if we can possibly find Torrey Holt open. Maybe just way down the field. I'm going to try and pick up all 20 yards in one play. I think Holt might get open on this out route. Torrey Holt coming down with the catch. I think we might be able to find Marcus Allen out of the backfield here. Like I said, you probably don't want to go to the flats too much as it looks like he's not going to be open. X is going to be wide open across the middle though. Jerry Rice again picking up another first down. 
So 735, this is not going to end well, but I do have a pretty good kicker. So if I can just pick up a decent amount of yardage here, we can probably end up taking our three as I think OBJ is for some reason getting caught on Shazier there. And I thought he would separate eventually. He didn't. Apparently he didn't. All right, well, that was unlucky. Odell literally got bumped by Shazier there, and then Shazier got a crazy interception animation, so we got a little bit unlucky there as he's going over the middle. Good catch by OBJ. Second and three, looks like he's going back to the same exact play, this time going down the seams again, Golden Tate getting open. And I just accidentally got caught into man coverage, but we end up getting this sack from Von Miller. Second and 26, my opponent just continuously goes back to this same exact play, so I'm just going to switch up the coverage and run some man, and that's going to be an easy interception there. He literally had to go there. It's basically the only route that would have separated. And if we can get a good block from Reggie White, which we do, we're going to be able to pick six this route. And I actually forgot to mention, another reason why you guys should blitz is so you can possibly get interceptions, pick sixes, scoop and scores, because you guys just saw there, interceptions, well actually pick sixes, and of course, scoop and scores are actually worth 15 points. Basically, defensive touchdowns are 15 points, so it's another good reason you should blitz. You guys saw right there, we ended up with another interception as Marcus Allen should be able to catch that out of the backfield, breaking a tackle, and I guess we'll call a timeout. And again, I'm not worried about it. I am going to take my three points here. We're going to go up 22 to three. And with only 30 seconds left, let's see if we make my opponent make another dumb read and we get another interception. So I think my opponent's going to continuously run the same exact play here. And it's probably not going to end up too well for him. Oh, that should have been a pick. So now it's going to be third down, aka fourth down. And that's not going to be a first down. Now, since we're back up to the 42-yard line, I'm pretty sure I can't make a 59-yard field goal. We do have time, two timeouts, though, luckily, so I'm going to run the ball here with Marcus Allen. See, we pick up a big game. Marcus Allen going down the field, and I actually was going to try and score a touchdown there, but we'll take our three. We're going to go 25-3 to three here, heading into halftime, and I believe that he gets the ball, I want to say. And actually, we start off with the ball here, so of course, we're going to go back to doing these same exact things, like we should have Zach Ertz open. That is a perfect throw and another first down. The only issue with having to sit in the pocket for so long and trying to pick up 20-yard gains without having any rack on them, just trying to like throw 20-yard routes, is the pass rush is super good this year. So it's going to be pretty difficult to do as we hit Zeke, pick begin at 5. I'm honestly fine with taking my field goal every single time I get into field goal range, but you guys can see here we are not in field goal range. OBJ down the field, had to force it in. So now my opponent gets the ball on the 44-yard line, and again, I got caught in the wrong defense here. I should be running man coverage versus this guy because that's all he's doing is run that same route and dang, Kittle. If he's going to run this same exact play, literally all I have to do is drop some out in the flats to go ahead and guard Kittle, and there's nothing else open. If your opponent's running the same exact plays, just figure out exactly what he's doing. Like, he's got that drag there, so yeah, I will cover that flat there. But besides that, all I have to do is watch the in route, and he just threw a drag route on 4th and 18, basically. So the 4th quarter just started, and of course, we are up by 22 points. So all we have to do, basically, is not have a turnover and let him score, like, a pick 6 or a fumble. We should win. And now, once again, it's going to be essentially fourth and 11 third and 11 i'm just gonna say fourth so he was gonna go to throws an out route over there and that's gonna be incomplete now honestly i'm perfectly okay with running the ball two times and just punting him the ball back here i don't care to really run up the score i'm just trying to see if we can chew this clock get out of here with a w marcus allen picking up well what would have been a first down about 15 yards let's run the ball again here on second and six and i'll honestly probably even run the ball on third down if it comes to it which it didn't mark sound picks up the first down Two and Warren just hit, and we're going to continue to run the ball here with the Marcus down. My opponent doesn't really seem to have any way to stop him. And if he's not going to call his timeouts, I will just run the ball one more time here, take my field goal, and go 28-3, which should basically end this game here. As he tried to plug me, but that didn't work out. So taking our field goal with a minute and 20 seconds left, we are going to now go up by 25 points. He would basically have to get two pick sixes to beat me. Let's continue to send blitzes at my opponent first and 20. I know exactly what he's going to go to here. Oh, actually, no, I don't because I thought it was going to be a different play, and he's actually running the ball. A little bit weird my opponent decided to run the ball there, but I'm actually going to use her on the person who's going to be on Golden Tate because I literally know he is going to run like a corner route or something as we get another sack. I kind of thought it'd be either a corner route there or it'd be a post route to Golden Tate, but third and 26, fourth and 26, whatever you want to call it. Let's see who my opponent's going to go to. I'm going to send, actually, I, I probably should have sent even a bigger blitz there, but we are going to end up getting to the QB. He's going to chuck it up, and that's going to be an incompletion. Turnover on downs. Now, usually opponents won't stay in games like this. You guys can see him up by 25 points, only 20 seconds left. So yeah, this game is basically over, but usually people will quit after you go by like two TDs. And you guys can see defensively here, we had two sacks from Von Miller, one sack from Lawrence Taylor, which actually I think my least amount of sacks that I've had so far in these gameplays in terms of interceptions. I had two interceptions, and I also had one pick six, of course, a 70-yard pick six there, 
with Ryan Chase here. So basically, guys, my main tips to you guys are going to be blitz on offense. Probably your best chance there. Man blitzes. Don't really worry about the the, uh, the drags. If your opponent does go to man beating plays, then you should probably try to run a zone blitz. Maybe blitz an extra cornerback, blitzing a linebacker up the middle of the field. And of course, on offense, you're going to want to pass the ball the majority of the time. But of course, if you end up getting in field goal range, you don't want to be too risky. Just take the field goals. You guys can see it worked out for me. I didn't really score too many touchdowns. Basically, got field goals, got a pick six. Got pretty lucky with that pick six. And then, of course, ended up scoring some garbage time points. With that being said, though, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Good luck to you guys in your house rules event. Hopefully, you can get your 12 wins done today if you have time. If not, hopefully, you can get them by tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.